Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Yong here and welcome to a huge Grand Theft Auto 5 news update. Game Informer very recently released exclusive new information on their December issue with tons of new information. So let's dive right into it. Now I would recommend you actually get the Game Informer issue if you want to absorb all 18 pages of GTA 5 goodness, but I'm going to give you guys an overview of the most important points I find. One of the biggest reveals is that players will be playing as three different protagonists, so yes, you will be experiencing three different storylines simultaneously, and these stories will likely intertwine at various points in the game. The three main protagonists are Michael, his longtime friend Trevor, and Franklin. You can switch between these characters at any time when off mission, so you don't cycle between them linearly chapter by chapter. With a press of a button, you can go about taking control of each of these characters at your own discretion. The camera will zoom out a la Google Earth and zoom back in after players choose their character. And when not controlling the other two, the AI will kick in and they will go about living their normal lives, or their not so normal lives. Developers even commented that when you switch back to one of the characters, you sometimes may be surprised to see some of the situations these characters find themselves in and some of the situations you have to get them out of. These three characters all have fully fleshed out storylines, personalities, and skill sets, and each one will give off different flavors when players take control of them. The Game Informer issue talked about their impressions in regards to what they were shown on the game, and they truly emphasized the contrast between the lives and worlds of each character, which is precisely what the developers are going for. Now, a lot of people may be wondering if some of the customization and RPG-style features from San Andreas will return. Unfortunately, because of the way the game works with three main protagonists, players will not be able to do things like gain or lose weight or body build. The reason is because technically it is extremely difficult, and Rockstar believes that there are other more important things to focus on. However, players can still give each character different clothes and the like, just nothing that will dramatically change physical appearances. Now let's talk a bit about mechanics. They don't give too much detail, but they do give out little hints here and there. For example, the driving mechanics have been changed to make vehicles feel less like maneuvering a boat and more like a racing game. Developers state that shooting has also been vastly improved in terms of core mechanics, and melee combat is better than it's been ever before. But apart from saying that things were better, they don't really give any specific details. One of the biggest improvements the developers emphasize are the missions, with heists as the big theme of the game. The three characters, in the end, are all after money after all, each for various different reasons. But Rockstar has invested more time than ever before to making sure heists play a huge role in the game and that they are done right. Even more exciting is that some missions may have two or even all three of the protagonists joining forces. During these types of missions, players will be prompted with a switch option, which will be indicated by an icon on the screen. When this icon pops up, players can choose to switch roles with the click of a button. For example, in one mission, Michael is Point Man, Franklin offers cover as a sniper, and Trevor is in charge of the extraction. So starting out, you will control Michael, and at some point in the mission when things get ugly, Franklin will start shooting his sniper and taking down foes. During this time, players can choose to stick as Michael and continue playing the mission from that perspective on the ground, or they can choose to switch to Franklin and take aim with a sniper. And when controlling Franklin, Michael's AI will activate and vice versa. And after that, Trevor will extract the group with a helicopter, giving way to a helicopter chase scene. During this scene, players can choose to play as Michael to fire an assault rifle out of the back of the chopper, they can choose to play as Trevor and maneuver the vehicle, or they can play as Franklin and snipe other pilots. This is just an example of one cooperative mission, and it sounds amazing. Finally, let's talk about the most important character in the game, the city. Los Angeles' fictional twin, Los Santos, will be the main setting, and with it will come locales from huge cities, beaches, to deserts, you name it. And apart from wrecking havoc, players will also have access to a variety of minigames such as yoga, triflons, jet skiing, base jumping, tennis, and golf. Rockstar is working hard to make sure these minigames are fully fleshed out instead of half-assed. Rockstar is also looking into making sure that the economy in GTA 5 is more fully fleshed out, because by the end of GTA 4, there just wasn't enough to do with money. Don't expect to be buying properties, but Rockstar said to look forward to loads of other fun stuff. Also, those who played Red Dead Redemption will be pleased to know that dynamic missions will make a return in GTA 5. These missions are random scenes players may find on the road. If curious, players can choose to check them out and engage in them, and if not, players can choose to skip them and ignore them. Furthermore, each of the three protagonists will have certain hobbies and activities specific to them. 
to further drive home their differences in personalities. Now unfortunately for some, the romance feature from GTA 4 will not be making a return simply because of the nature of the game and its three protagonists. The developers said perhaps in a future GTA title, just not this one. However, each protagonist will have a circle of friends and acquaintances to interact with. Michael even has a full-fledged family with wife and son. Speaking of socializing, cell phones will make a return, but Rockstar promises you won't be getting a call every five freaking minutes about going bowling. In fact, the phone system will be streamlined, but will also be more contemporary, allowing for things such as browsing the web on the fly. In essence, Los Santos will be a city that is more fully fleshed out while streaming certain unnecessary systems. And that about sums up the key information revealed by Game Informer's most recent issue. If you're interested in Grand Theft Auto V, I highly recommend you get Game Informer's latest issue so you can dive into the little details here and there. I can't cover all 18 pages in one video, I only can extract what's most important, but if you really want to delve deep into GTA V, you should get Game Informer's December issue. Anyways, that is it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to Young Yeah to be updated on GTA 5 and other hot gaming news, along with some entertaining playthroughs and let's plays. Also, stay tuned for my main project, the Skyrim Cinemas, with more to come in the near future. Thank you very much, and Young Out.